Hello everybody, welcome to the round two match of Group L, the official replay cast between Dragu and his Lizardmen and Nabolo and his Skaven. Nabolo found himself in this all Lizardman group and he's apparently a tabletop legend with 54 games unbeaten, carrying, you know, holding the NAF record for unbeaten matches in a row. He's French, he qualified from the Lutece Cup. So, um, yeah, very impressive. Dragoo um, is, let me find him, Belgian. And he qualified from the CPC League, the APM Road to the World Championship. There you go. And what we can do is we can check out the table of Group L after one game here. And you can see that Nabolo won his first game. Dragoo drew his first game. So a win here, because there's been a draw, a win here for Nabolo will qualify him to the round of 32. So there we go. And uh, uh, Nabolo won the toss, chose to kick. He's got a pretty standard team. He's got all of the action skills. He hasn't got leader on the thrower. That's what he's given up. So he has three rerolls. He's also so he's dropped the apothecary to make up for the loss of leader um, and thirteen players. But otherwise, he's got basically the standard right one of each skill on the gutters, uh, juggernaut, and mighty blow and guard. Um, Dragu has gone for a guard source rather than just six block, and he has also got the chameleon skink. The chameleon skink actually decent on offense against Skaven. Eh? It gives him the free move. Um, to maybe catch the ball and stop getting swarmed in the back field by gutter runners. The lizard setup, it's all right. Um, it's all right. It, 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 well, okay, it's not all right, is it? It's not all right because these should be swapped. This guy could get blitzed. No, no, it is all right. I was being an idiot. I was being an idiot. It's all right. Yeah, protect against the blitz. Most important thing, right, is. Skaven can blitz you and just win, so you need to not get blitzed on and lose. And I was an idiot and thought that it was wrong, but it, it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> Three draws is probably technically possible, yeah. But two, two wins is, like, extremely likely through. Oh. Use the reroll and the pickup. Doesn't fully cover the ball, but doesn't really need to, I guess. I don't like putting this guy here because he can be he can be pushed to the sideline, can't he, by the roger? Pretty free blitz for the rogue and you know, probably should have uh, put him up. You know, both of these just took them in, right? Doesn't even blitz him with the roger anyway. Just goes for the mighty blow. I quite like pushing him to the sideline as the roger. Really zoning him out, but uh doesn't go for that. And the bolo. I mean activating the roger is pretty rubbish, right? Because uh Animal Savagery is the worst. <laughs> so I guess now you've got because he put him so far out, see the problem the problem that that Dragu has now is he, he isolated this guy so far away, like in fact, this guy could have come up to here, right? And this guy, everything could have tucked in more. Now he's just isolated this guy all the way over there. Um, and he basically has to avoid him now. He has to avoid, abandon him and move up the team up here, I would say. Best big guy. I hate the roller. I hate the roller. Oh, wow. We're, not only are we blitzing through, we're also basing everything. Oh, I thought the crocs would have come in here. After that aggressive base, I figured the crocs would have come in there. But, um... Yep. Yep. The old H cage. Yeah, so somebody had to stand there, right? So I feel like standing the crocs there is better. Oh, I just think it's better just leave him down, right? Just leave him down. Get him up next turn. But I guess you kind of can't get him up next turn, so yeah, maybe maybe you do have to dodge there, so you can just stand him up next turn. All right, here we go. We're not we're not using the uh, roger to punch things because it is, you know, just have a terrible, 
the worst mega trait in the game, uh, animal savagery. So, fair enough. Oh wow, the gutter runner is going to two dice this guy. Doesn't hurt him. And that, that gutter's going to 1D him. He goes for a push. Well, we get to punch some things. Yes, exactly, yeah, okay, Fog. He's great for the one turn. He is great. One turn out of 16. Animal Savagery is pretty great. But for the other 15, and the other 15 turns do count, don't they? Hello, Cole, by the way. Um, like, the other 15 turns do count. As much as Skaven coaches <laughs> don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Although it feels like they don't a lot of the time. <laughs> They do, they do count. Um, things do happen in the other 15 turns. Oh, gets a removal. Maybe he could have dropped back a little bit there, rather than going forward, right, so that he's still covered by these two. And would have, like, protected this guy. From getting beaten up by a gutter runner. <laughs> mm. There you go. The other the other sixteen turns do count as we casually Oh here we go. Moved him away so that animal savagery was worse than wild animal. And uh, not wild animal, what is it? Oh wow. Um, what what's the one now? Unchanneled Fury. Are we going to hunt the gutter runner or not? Ah, uh, the rattle gun, no. It's, it's, so it's worth here, as the as the lizard man. You want to win the game. You've got two big problems. One is the sidestep gutter. The other is the rattle gun. Rattle gun can kill you guys, right? He's just he's just had... He took two kills that turn, didn't he? One from a random punch. One from mighty blow. So it's definitely worth hunting the rattle gun to limit the one turn with... Juggernaut and stop Saurus getting banged out. And it's also good to hit this sidestep gutter. Um, you would think he would, uh, he's got plenty of time. He could definitely come back, reconnect with these guys. But he hasn't done that. I mean, I would have already probably gone back the previous turn, but yeah. So he's hitting neither the sidestepper nor the roger. Turn four panic. Classic. Oh, cuts the corner and casts himself. Well, I hate to say absolutely one million percent deserved, but absolutely one million percent deserved. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, so to be fair, he does actually have to, he does actually have to cut the corner if one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if he goes there, then he, if he goes here, he could be surfed, right? Now, is the roger going to run all the way there and put himself on the sideline to surf this guy? Probably not. He'd have to rush as well, wouldn't he? So honestly, if, if this roger is going to blitz you here and rush to surf, it's probably alright, isn't it? So it probably is better to just go there and not make the dodge. Probably is better just stand there. But oh man, it goes too far, doesn't it, on the going back. <laughs> so maybe deserved is a bit harsh, obviously it was unlucky to one in nine, but at the end of the day if you if you keep making Unnecessary corner cuts. You will get punished, won't you? At some point in time, somehow. Was oh, this some kind of clever chain here? I'm, I'm bamboozled. Of 
Just kill your guard, mate. Boo! He didn't even kaz him. No justice. I get a kaz. Well, I mean, the Rat Ogre looks brilliant this turn, doesn't it? He only... He didn't even break his AV and made a removal. But, um... You know, the Rat Ogre could have been... Could have been punched last turn, just quietly. Kaz back. Not quite as impactful. But, you know, not terrible. This is a big one to get the removal on, but um, we do have the slight problem of the ball. He dodges away from tail, works, and scores. So he, do he is indeed forced in, as Dementor predicted. He scores on turn five, setting up. Maybe more than a 2-1 grind, seeing as he's down three players. But ostensibly, setting up the 2-1 grind. Oh, Skink, Skink cheerleaders over here, very nice. And the uh, Skaven have Orc cheerleaders. Hot stuff. Oh, timeout. So that, uh, you know, gave him an extra turn of stall. So that's the best way to stall. But now a three turn. A three turn is a little bit more comfortable than a four turn, honestly. Skaven don't really want to hang around, are they? Not scoring, so. <laughs> the bowler's a hand roller, is he? Oh, wonderful. Love hand rolling. That really is the best decision. I guess he's going to pass it to the blocker. This is a three plus pass. No, it's not passing. Okay, he just had the he just had the handoff action as default. No, he chose the pass action and just didn't pass. <laughs> Hello, Timmy. <laughs> Was it? it was a 54 unbeaten I heard, Demento, rather than a 50 win streak. I, I heard 54 unbeaten. Sol has gone 50, gone 50, oh, maybe it's 56, maybe it's 56 unbeaten, and I think Sol's 53. Yeah, I think Nabolo is 56 unbeaten, and Sol is 53 unbeaten. Uh, of course, the way Sol did it was by playing Americans. <laughs> Which is a pretty foolproof plan for a win streak. <laughs> no offense, American friends. <laughs> oh, there's a dead, dead, dead. Oh, this is pretty brutal, isn't it? This is pretty brutal. Well, the UK. I mean, the UK did uh, okay, you know, some of the other teams did all right. He just does the early score. I mean, England didn't do very well, but did they select the best eight players? I don't think so. No offence to the people they did select, but um, I mean, I didn't go there, did I, for number one? Number one, I didn't go there. Number two, Dave O was on the wrong team, wasn't he? So, you know. High kick, gets the touch back. For the one turn chance. Gets the push. Not a big fan at all of the uh, whole method here, but never mind. I mean, he did the right thing, right, of getting the dodge through there. Or, well, he could have just punched, maybe. I don't know. But whatever it is, um, it didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. 
it it may have been good enough. It may not have been. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> they both got cars, but one was a skink. Oh, oh my god, he's just lost. <laughs> he's... Coming, Dragu. How about every time one of your things hits, they die, and including when they hit something themselves. <laughs> Wonderful. Nice one turn, mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> the dead skink shop. Well, as an Ebola, you might as well just uh, just two turn and score as many as you can, eh? <laughs> <laughs> do do whatever you like now. Is the uh, is the name of the game? Nabolo is a table topper. Has probably won his fair share of uh, most touchdowns awards. Maybe that's what's going through his mind now. Maybe he's thinking, aha, ha 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 So, yeah, honestly, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, why, where was this in our games, right, k -Fug? Where was this in our games, honestly? Myself, Andy Devo, k -Fug, all had, like, battling draws with loads of dice rolls and, you know, tough opponents and stuff, and... And then, you know, not that Dragoo's played bad at all, but, you know, like, I'm saying, we've had tough games. We had tough games and Drew and stuff. And then Nabolo's just like... GG, thanks for coming. What a complete waste of time. <laughs> what an absolute complete waste of time. <laughs> Poor old Dragoo. Um, yeah. Yes, this is... Uh, Comedy mega dicing, yeah. <laughs> Two one. Is it mistake scoring early? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe these six players will punish him. <laughs> <laughs> and Dragon drew his first game, so. He is, uh, he's in trouble, isn't he? Now he is really in trouble. He, he's, he's got a chance, though, right? If he wins his last game and other results go his way, he's got half a chance. He's still, he's still a chance, even after a draw and a loss. But, um... <laughs> the Chameleon Skink will fix this. I'm sure he will. To be fair, the rats are on 10. I mean, they've still got three gutters versus one skink, so. Oh, down to nine. But yeah, the, the crucial thing is gutters versus skink. Singular. <laughs> Fails the pickup. Woo! <laughs> First action. <laughs> all of my gutters run forward. <laughs> Base up all of your Saurus. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> he doesn't even need to base up the Saurus, he can just screen the Saurus completely. Dead, dead, dead. 
Oh my god. Reroll the board down. He's like, I've got to kill something now, a chance. Wow. Wow, yeah. Oh, one in nine. <laughs> Crocs. <laughs> he did remove somebody, but uh, I don't think the removal is going to help much. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. This could be uh, this could be five one now, right? Three one now, and then four one, then five one. Yeah. <laughs> Kill this as well. Ah, oh, diced. Never lucky. Gotta re-roll this. Yes! Yes! Yes, the ball up! Yes! <laughs> it's not good enough. It's not good enough to only win 3-1. You have to go for 4 or 5. Concedes are not allowed. No, that's true. Yeah, they did say it's actually not allowed to concede. Um, due to it being a spectacle. Though, of course, this one... Um, <laughs> I mean, it is a spectacle, but not because it's it's an exciting match. <laughs> Flip me. Oh, this is a mistake here. Mistake from Nabolo, right? Absolute mistake. You have to get this got her down as a scoring threat first. He could have dub skulled, right? He could have dub skulled. You have to get the side stepper into a scoring threat. You know, come on, you're going for five one here. You've got to get your uh, most touchdowns award. Have to get your most touchdowns award here. Come on, Nabolo. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, never lucky. I like how the Lizards have scored three cards, which would normally be quite good. You know, the team with like, oh, well, I was going to say with six strength, four blockers, but of course he doesn't and then fails. Thus proving um, not six block to be the worst build. But, um, you know, normally three cards, pretty good. Right, got rid of the wrestler, got rid of the reserves. Ten players. Normally this would be a pretty good spot to be in, but unfortunately, your whole team's dead. <laughs> Stuns the crocs as well. Oh dear. Jesus. Just a bit of a dicing. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, even Elliot would say this is over now. I mean, yeah, it physically can't score three so now Elliot would agree it was over even though it was over several turns ago e now even Elliot would agree <laughs> Elliot isn't here unfortunately no oh animal savagery best big guy in the game look If you ever need to win 5 1 instead of 4 1, Rat Org is the best player in that situation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Shadowing! 
<laughs> yes, he shot on the gun. <laughs> <laughs> he shot on him. Oh dear. Wow. Well, that isn't a score line anybody would have expected in the World Championship, is it? Flip me, but I mean, this is what happens when it's this much of a dicing, right? And it's rats. If orcs did this, they'd have won 2 1 <laughs> on Necro. Even Dark Elves might have just won 2 1 with that, but because it's rats, casual 5 1. Yeah, maybe 3 1 if it was early, yeah. He can't even make a three dice block with his cross. <laughs> oh god. Well, there you go. <laughs> what a match. I mean, you know, I've I've enjoyed it and I've chuckled at it, but um obviously for you know, nothing against Ragu, awful for him. Complete non event for him. Um dice to oblivion. And uh yep. Yeah. But, you know, he's still he's still another chance. He is still in with a chance. Um, so this was the match. This was the table before. I, I'm I've only going to have the tables before. So you know he's got a draw and a loss. But if he gets a win in the last one, he still he still can qualify, right? Like he still can. For instance, Fu Folle and Benbo could draw, and then Nabolo could beat, and then Dragu would beat Benbo, right? And then. Nabolo would beat Fu Fole, so there is a chance for Dragu still to qualify with one win, one draw, one loss. So it's not over for him, but um, the group stage is over for Nabolo. He is definitely qualified for the knockout stages. Maybe not in first, so he's still, you know, still things to play for, but um, he is definitely qualified for the knockout stages. So congratulations, Nabolo. Commiserations, Dragu. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.